Hello, baby gangsters. This is Calvin Olsen and Ms. Warmer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Life is Strange, and this is the second episode. Now, the screen tearing you're seeing right now on the screen, um, I looked this up to see if this was a common problem, and apparently in some aspects of the pre-rendered stuff, this does happen. So in stuff like recaps and things like this, uh, it does generally happen. Uh, so we don't really have to... Uh, there's not really we can do about that. For some reason, it's only on the PlayStation 5 version, uh, or the PlayStation 4 version if you're playing on the PS5. Kind of confusing, but, you know. We'll just keep it going and keep playing the game because I'm actually enjoying the game. The first episode was really, really good. Snooze? Should we be pressing snooze? If I press snooze, I'm out for like the next three hours, guys. It's over. I think we're back in our... Or is there, are we back in our dorm? A lot happened in the last episode. I love the way they present the openings of this stuff, man. Like, uh, the way they, they, they use the logos on the screen. And this would have been episode 2, which would have released a few months later, after the first episode. If I remember correctly. I remember there being a lot of hype around this, because I used to watch game trailers, though not entertainment. And they used to, like, uh, talk about the, the, you know, they used to be, like, really, like, tweeting about it, being like, Oh my god, it's the new episodes are coming out today and stuff. Oh, something goes. Yeah, and, like I said, the music is really good in this game, too. It sets the scene perfectly. Like, look at this, it's presented so well. It's like, it's presented as a, like, almost like a TV show without, like, being overbearing, like a, like, like, like it's not a video game anymore. It's still a video game, you know? Um, it still has the aspects I love about a video game. That's a cool t-shirt, Max. Yeah, we gotta get up. We gotta be getting up. Man, this is actually like a really good dorm room. Like, no amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. No wonder she had like a you need had a scholarship. I'm so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. I mean, that's just nice to have. Chloe's messaging just now. What's she saying? A lot of messages. You there, hippie? What about that f that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smartass. Too bad you can't go back and warn me about that joint. I thought you saving your life was more important. Boom, Max delivers the final blow. But for reals, we need to talk. I need you standing with me on this. Or eat an ass busted breakfast at two whales, my treat. Sold. It's good to have minions. Gotta bail, master. Breakfast is a go. Y you there, man, man, Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji? Oh, she doesn't like emojis? Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late. Or I'll know uh, time is not on your side. After all, you did let Step Dork bust me. On my way. You are evil. 40 minutes or less. In fairness though, she's still talking about this like step stepdad thing. With all this crazy shit going Wait, was there another message there? From mom. Um, hey honey, hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. We're not gonna water it again then, I guess. It is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Yeah, the music's awesome. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. The reason we didn't help with her stepdad was because she asked us not to him. I was just being- I was trying to be respectful. You know what I mean? Trying to be at least. We looked at these photos already. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey <laughs> game and a great fight. Man, Chris Yeah, and we already looked at a lot of these stuff as well. So we have a new camera. That was given no to smile. us by Chloe. Take your power seriously. No smiling? I guess so. Looks more artistic, doesn't it? <laughs> Looks way more artistic. Let's not water the plant today then, I guess? Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. No, don't worry. They're not. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. See, I don't want to water the plant and then have it be busted up again, you know? I could rewind for days and read all of these books. That's one way to look at it. Will I really find any insight into my power? So she's already doing research, which is very interesting. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Let's see what she has here. So what if I'm the one of Hawking's fabled time tourists? Even though he once made fun of time travel, now he believes it's, possi it's possibility. Or he's still fucking with us. He's a genius imp. Time is like a river, said Einstein. Bullshit, I'm drowning in time. My head hurts after a long rewind and thinking about this now. Taking a giant step backward from mankind. 
Schrodinger's cat could exist in two different time zones. Hello, Time Kitty. Quantum, this is how I write sometimes. Have you seen how I write the, the patron stuff? Uh, quantum entangled them. Energy disperses at particles reach equal distribution. This means that the time is a fragile foundation, nothing is written in stone. The law of thermodynamics can obviously be broken, so no rules, only guidelines. Burn your clock. Time is like an arrow, Newton. Or is time like two arrows at the same velocity hitting two targets, independent of each other, leading to two different results? What the hell am I writing? Rewind only limited time by time itself. Right now, I only have enough time to go back a certain amount of time. Irony evolution. Maybe I do have time exercises. How? So she's thinking about this a lot. She's thinking about this a whole lot. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this Wait, out. Wait, so you told Warren? Or maybe you just asked him about, uh, let's, let's read it anyway. Hey Max, the doctor's in the house. I've been uh, thinking long and hard about your weird request. Okay, so she didn't tell her exactly, it didn't tell him exactly what was happening. I just sent you a bunch of physics and science links, and uh, without further ado, here's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send you more as they come to mind. The doctor expects a full explanation of your newfound chrono interest. The Time Machine, 1960 version. Fun, early steampunk sci-fi, and Morlock's face melts uh, a primer. Lo-fi time travels in Dallas. Brilliant, I'll explain to you after you watch it. Time after time, H.G. Wells uses a time machine to chase Jack the Ripper to modern day San Francisco. Super cool and clever. Pulp Fiction, serious switching between timelines gives a good basic outline of relativity, plus Uma. Somewhere in time, big cult around this romantic sci-fi written by Richard Matheson. The best kind of chick flick. You'll cry like a baby. Uh, I did. Time Slip. You can borrow my copy of this awesome Japanese flick or you can watch it together. Sonny Chiba and his soldiers end up back in samurai days, basically tank tanks versus ninjas. Time Cop. Jean-Claude Van Damme does the splits in the ki on the kitchen counter in his underwear. Need they say more? Uh, now, that's all the time I have now, but I do actual quantum physics to plow through and not your fun Back to the Future homework that I never get. Uh, now that you discovered the art of science, I expect you see the, uh, see you in the lab more often. I could always use a new partner in time. Get it? Uh, like Mario and Luigi partners in time? D don't hit me. I'm leaving. <laughs> Doctor Who? This is so insane. It sounds logical to me. So, join the crowd. We'll read it from here. Uh, time travel is not just science fiction. Here is, history has recorded numerous cases of individuals who have managed to bend all rules of time and space continuum. The present dilemma is that uh, those who can navigate temporal dimensions are rightly reluctant to reveal themselves due to the impact of public and government scrutiny. Nations around the world have spent literally billions of dollars trying to build in top secret their own version of a time machine. Thankfully, this is not the case where infinite revenue equals the con uh, control of, uh, inf of the infinite. Or you might not be reading this website at all. This is where the chrononauts enter the picture. It's clearly based on the vast scientific information that time travel is only applicable on a person-by-person -person basis, not driven nor dominated by any of one particular physics or ther thermodynamic collaboration. Uh, for this reason, we have created a forum where past, present, and future time travelers can share tips, ideas, or ex and experiences to guide those navigating rocky seas, hence the moniker, the chrononauts, brave solita solitary adventures on our infinite voyage. Okay, so she's doing a lot of this research. This whole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. Okay, the welcome to the wonderful world of wormhole, a term lazily overexploited in science fiction for nephilites, nephites, visuals, uh, visualize a wormhole like an invisible tunnel from one end of the space to the other. Thus, a wormhole exists. Time travel is possible and pl um, probable. The human trick is to discover the means or, or device needed to a link and traverse both ends of this tunnel. Einstein's theory relatively posits that this is within the realm of uh, theory, with a new generation of physicists hopes to develop an actual working model of this fascinating space-time conundrum. Inside wormhole are links and articles relating to the most recent development of this fluid theory. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Oh, to sign the petition? Why are quantum physicists trying to control time? As you read the words... Uh, physicists and scientists are the whole uh, are around the world are using uh, taxpayers funded government programs to shatter our notions of time and space potentially altering the course of history itself for example Australian researchers are using uh, photons to simulate quantum particles as they travel through time itself even though quantum time mechanics is a very recent theory first predicted in 1991 it has caught fire with scientific community who eliminated ethics and morality from the dangerous experiments and I thought I was into Halloween Dana? Dana is not messing around here. Remember Dana, right? Bring it, uh, Blackwell Bloodsuckers. Next to prom night and Big Football, my favorite time of year is the annual Ghoul Days Blackwell Halloween party. Picture me busting a thrill zombie movie. 
Uh, Principal Wells has given us almost carte blanche to decorate the halls and gym within uh, taste and safety, so I want every student to be scared shitless when they walk into their classes. I know y'all have tons of homework, but I do, but as I do, but let's make this Halloween that Blackpool will never forget. The decoration committee meets at the gym at 3.30 next Wednesday, uh, October 10th. This gives you plenty of time to not have any excuses for flaking. If you don't show up to the haunted halls, the boogeyman will get you. Let's show Blackwear our ghoul power. Pleasant screens, Dane of the Dead. Um... I love the computer system in this game, the, the actual system around the, the, the computers. It's first of all, to keep the art style while also giving like an actual kind of like realistic feeling to it, if that makes sense. There's also like a realistic feeling to this world. Should we... She said she wants to have a shower, so if you go get a shower, should we go get clothes or... It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Cool. Now... I'm not sure how this works. I've never stayed in a dorm. Do we just walk? Shower supplies. There we go. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Let's hit the showers. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course. None of my business. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I'm so on it. Consider it done. So that's, that's it. Like, yeah. Girl, I'm standing right here. Let's erase it. Yep. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. We saw her crying in the credits of the last episode. I'm kind of worried about her, to be honest. Alyssa. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling so That's okay. right now. That's okay. If I help Alyssa, I could be like the godmother of Blackwell. Max, I don't want to talk What if what happened? Did something out. happen that like I'm unaware of? One quick rewind and I could stop this TK. Oh, there was a toilet paper attack. You okay, Alyssa? Oh no, okay. We have to rewind all the way back. Okay oh no, all the way back. Happen? All the way back. So someone threw toilet paper at her? Ow. Oh, even further back. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max. It's See, she seems like a very thing. sweet person who's like very trusting of Max. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Now, I don't know if using our powers for this is a good idea. Um, Kate is an early you know what I mean? I don't know if that's like probably the best idea in the world, but like, hey, we're doing it. Um, wait, why is there, brother? What are you doing here? What did you write in this? Love you. Go home. Go back to the corny farm. <laughs> Go back to the corny farm. Hey, Dana. I saw you. Oh, yeah, Dana wrote that thing. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. Did someone say put the music down? What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. <laughs> that was a good moment, though. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. Yeah. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Why? Okay. I'm not looking through her laptop. I'm not looking through, her, through all of her stuff. I mean, we can look at it. That is so That's damn cool. cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. She's being, she's being safe with contraceptive pills. Trevor's jacket. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. I mean, I'm sorry, but like... 
Get the hell out of here, Trevor. <laughs> Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot? You're not video? looking at this, yeah. are you, Julia? That's not cool. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. It's not really. about. Check her out and tell me what she's like. I don't need to look at this. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding it's, out the it's... truth yesterday. Um. What about Victoria? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways too. So but what she's saying is action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. Great outcome. That's the spirit. Great outcome. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Good outcome. Hey, Brooke. Oh. She was rude to us yesterday. You look distracted. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry. Yeah, it was mad. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Do you like, uh... Do you, do, you, do you sound like... She sounds like she thinks Warren is cute. Sounds like she thinks Warren is a cutie patootie. Let's have a little shower McGower. Oh, Kate, hey. Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. I will literally kill someone for you. Are you okay? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed yep. that. Anytime. That guy has issues. More than issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Sure. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Sure thing. Kate is, but you can see in her eyes even, this girl is not doing good. <laughs> She's not doing good. And this is like, like, I've talked to us a million times in, in other Let's Plays, like how there's so much like special things in the mundane aspects of life, whether it be showering or, you know, getting, talking to people as you're walking by, getting stuff ready. It's one of the reasons why I adore games like Shenmue. Like the mundane aspects of life are still very fun, especially when you're playing them in the game. And they add to this, the world a lot too. What's Don't even try it. Don't cool. even try it. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Poke your head out and just say F all. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. Awful. And you know he has good shit. Awful. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my oh, face. Oh, do you? Yeah. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. I we ran all the way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Matt. Oh, you hang out with us. Get set free from this nasty girl. I give you the benefit of the doubt last episode, girl. I still disagree with taking a picture of her. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave a link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. That's you are horrific. Such an evil biatch. No, it's I not. It. It's not funny even. You were rec <laughs> Here's what needs to happen. The fact that you remembered the link and put a HTTP on the side as well, that means you're the quirky one. You're the one who thinks you're quirky. 
I'll say this as well. Like, as a teenager, I knew that, like, there was a correlation between um, bullying and, um, you know, what could, you know, what could lead to bad mental health, at, like, or, or, like, you know, like that. So, you know, some really bad things. I, I was, I was very freaking aware of that. Even if I can stop one person yeah. from watching it. That's a good attitude boring. to have. Um, but, like, I, I was fully aware of that. Like, fully aware of that aspect. Um, like, look at this. And this is, this. by the way, this is not an on, like, common thing. People will say the worst things. And, and the thing is, like, teenagers aren't fully developed in their brain. They don't have fully developed brains. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck we heard that line before. Like, they just don't. And I know it's a bad thing to say, but they just don't. <laughs> um, that's why they need to be, like, you know, like, looked after in this sense. And in the same way, Kate can't fully comprehend what's happening. Um, neither can, you know, I'm not, I'm, it's not an excuse for Victoria. What Victoria's doing is horrible, by the way. But it's like a jungle sometimes with this stuff. No fucking way. Who wrote this? This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Wait, who? Was this Victoria? Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbing. Wait, there's, there's this Nathan. Because this is like not all. This is. Guys. <laughs> this is like. This is like you need to go away and get clinical help stuff. Like, I'm serious. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. And it's clear the principal won't do anything about it. If, if this is what he does. Like this, I I'm worried. I'm worried for the for everyone. So we have to search for. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Search for his book or the book. Maybe search here. And nothing here. That is just demented. Like again, like I was a teenager once. I never thought of doing this once to anybody. No book here. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. What is up with Max? Can we, this fast? Can we talk? The book and I don't want to add to our list Can we problems. talk a little bit <laughs> about how um, numerous times now you have just knocked stuff uh -huh, over? <laughs> You're mine. Still very cool um, power I wish I had. Should we get dressed? Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Yeah. They're, they're, they're look, they look nice. It's become, it's become full circle. Um, is there clothes that we can get dressed into? Because at this point, like, I, I know, I think... Are we leaving after this, or are we, do, are we don't know what's happening, or... Of drama games. I'm sure they will tell us when we have to get dressed, so... I need to get dressed before I go there. Fair enough. We have our cell phone as well. Oh, that's cool. So there's also new journal entries as well, by the way. Um, the prologue has... I believe at first they had... Oh my god, they have so much more. We got to part 8, right? So let's go to October 7th. This will be the weirdest journal entry I will ever make. So weird, I don't know how to where to start, but it started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by a lighthouse until I came to the edge of a cliff. Then I saw a giant tornado headed for Arcadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging my face and I was scared shitless. Then a boat in the lighthouse and I, was, I swear I was actually felt like I was going to die. But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson class and I wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called me, but I blew out the answer. Of course, Victoria pounced on me and made me look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful. Then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo. Everyday hero contest. While Victoria did her usual suck up to Jefferson. He's so cool and clearly wants me to succeed. I think he's way too into himself, if I'm being honest. I felt so shitty. I just wanted to get to the bathroom to be alone. I washed my face after a nightmare or a daymare. Once I got to the bathroom, I saw this odd blue butterfly flutter in and right when I took the photo in, in the corner. Nathan Prescott came in freaking out talking to himself um i hid in the corner and this punk girl came in they started arguing about drugs and money nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl this is where it gets strange when nathan fired the gun i came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason as if i could stop the bullet but suddenly i could feel the world twisting around me and this pressure in my head everything seemed to rewind i found myself right back at my desk i just thought i'd been dosed with some drug until i came so this is stuff that we probably don't like 
It's a cool drawing. Um, like, this is talking about, uh, there's some stuff I, I, I don't think we need to read absolutely everything. We would read absolutely everything and go forward, but it's just that I have to catch up on this stuff and I wish I didn't. Um, she reported to Nathan. I love as well she says, you know, uh, he didn't want to believe me and almost made me feel like shit for telling me that Blackwell's most big fucking deal student would carry a firearm in the class. I could tell him that he actually killed a girl in the previous timeline. So my school day started with an apocalyptic dream, then ended with a saving a life. I just gotta have some kind of power and wind time. Uh, I, um, I don't know how to on top of that. Everything feels so surreal right now. I can't talk to any about, anyone about this. The only person I haven't seen, I could, I, I haven't seen in five years. I could confine a war and he's smart and no science, so maybe he could even think of an explanation. Though I have no idea what he could be. Until I can figure this out, I better stay on the on the down low with this stuff and focus on my classes. Warren sent me test asking for his flash drive back, even though I haven't had a chance to check out this all the cool shows on films on there. I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files binge on, uh, on Full Metal Alchemist. Yes! Uh, then a faster pussycat, Kill Kill. All kinds of Amazon black uh, women, black and white uh, badassery. Tetsuo, a total cyberpunk trick, trip with amazing visuals. And Scott Pilgrim for about the millionth time. On a side note, I saw a missing mo per, uh, persons uh, poster on the campus for Irish Lambert. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is my favorite, uh, one of my favorite shows of all time. A pretty Blackwell student who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling and think about how awful things that could have happened. If there was a way for me to rewind back six months, I totally would. And we know you would. I had a chance to go back to the dorm and get Warren's flash drive, and yes, Victoria and her Vortex fixings blocked me from getting in, and even took my picture. It was a so high school movie, I can't even believe she did it. She actually told me to go fuck your selfie. Though it was funny. I don't know why she had to act that way. She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for trivial bullshit, especially if I have been given the actual gift from the universe. But it did give me a chance to test out. A correction on this, like, uh, like she's right by the way from her perspective. Victoria doesn't have everything. Uh, she doesn't have actual friends. Uh, meanwhile, uh, but I felt like uh, shit seeing Victoria sitting there by herself on steps covered in pain. She didn't look like a queen or a biatch or Blackwell, just a lonely girl as confused as me. I knew I had to find out if she was okay. She actually was nice and apologized. She even deleted the picture she took of me off her phone. So maybe there's a hope for the future. What we've seen today, maybe not. More high school drama. Julia wouldn't let Dana have a room because she thought Zachary was sexing Dana. So stupid. I was so tired from everything and since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive, I had to intervene. Julia told me that Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zach and Dana, so I knew that Victoria was playing them at all. I stuck in Victoria's room onto her laptop and found out that she has indeed lying through her ass just to create drama. Of course, I felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop. 100% it felt like a, we felt like a weasel. I felt like that too, for sure. I gave Juliet the proof that Victoria is behind it all, and I went to get Warren's flash drive from Dana. She was in a weird mood, but we said nasty things about Victoria, and I think that definitely made her feel better. We talked about Warren, and Dana implied she likes me. Uh, he likes me. Ooh, so he's an ooh. Warren is an ooh. I'm starting to get the hang of this whole rewind thing. I don't want to waste the power, but there has to be a reason it was given to me, so I better learn how to use it right. I started by saving Alyssa from getting a football-fueled headshot. I admit I felt amazing just to help Alyssa with something as simple as that. Uh, I also saw David Madsen, Hassan Kate Marsh. I couldn't hear everything, but he was accusing her of something. All that guy can do is point at his fingers. I got so pissed. I went to over to him to stop him, being such a bully. He's a security guard, not a stormtrooper. He was an asshole. Um, as usual. But I felt good about what I did, and Kate seemed truly happy that somebody stood up for her. And I did it without using my rewind power. Really cool art here as well. Um, yeah, I felt like we had to help Kate out with that situation. This tape keeps getting stranger. Really? Like, life is strange? I don't think I even believe what I'm writing, and I can't even do simple tasks like give him warm back his flash drive again to a situation. In this case, though, it turned out to be, uh, it turned out half bad, half good. I would describe that. Yes, the situation she's talking about for sure, which I guess in this yin and yang life, uh, I guess is the yin and yang of life. When I met with Warren in the lot and checked out his new retro wheels, guess who showed up? Nathan Prescott, freaking out all over again. He got up all of my face and accused me of bullshit. Even though I was scared, I know what he did to that girl in the bathroom. I was more furious. Then the girl in the bathroom pulled up in the truck was my former best friend, Chloe Price. We both looked at each other like, what the fuck? Next thing I knew, I was in her truck as Warren earned his man card and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren big time. You do. Seeing Chloe for the first time in five years was such a shock and I almost paralyzed, especially after realizing that Nathan had almost killed her right in front of me. Now Chloe shows up with the blue to save me. It's fate. It's a really weird twist of fate. Of all the bizarre and unexplainable shit happening today, sitting in Chloe's battered truck, listening to music and staring at her dashboard bobblehead might be the top. So I tried to process the fact that Chloe and I were two of best friends who didn't know each other anymore. 
She had blue hair piercings and a cool boots, and I looked like a dork. I didn't know where to start. And she wasn't exactly extending an olive branch. Yeah, she was very frustrated. So we sat like strangers. At least I had time to catch my breath and realize that in the parking lot, melee with Nathan and Warren, my camera got busted up. I didn't care considering everything else was going on, but it sucked uh, on top of everything else going on. Going back to Chloe's old house for the first time in five years, it was like the ultimate rewind. Some things were obviously different and some things weren't. The house smelled exactly like the same as it did when we were growing up. Chloe's room was like an exploded version of her new adult self. Cool and chaotic. I could tell she was pissed. She wanted to blaze up and chill. I explored room to uh, to play catch up on what there was in. Yeah, you, we can learn a lot from someone's room, you know? Then I found a photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked out and laid into me for not calling her once. I deserved it. You did. I feel like, I feel like it's one of those things where like, I can totally get that you want to do life, but you have to keep in contact with your friends in some way. Uh, we don't have to, but it's nice to do that. She became the best friend with Rachel, and they were going to bail on Arcadia and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. I could tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the posters. I even felt uh, even shittier about leaving Chloe alone all those years when she most needed me. You suck, Max, but Chloe is obsessed with Rachel and the, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished after meeting some uh, amazing dude. Probably some psycho online. Chloe, I wanted to smoke out and be alone, so I went downstairs to fix my camera. Sh uh, sh snooping deeper, I hit the paranoia jackpot and found a whole mini surveillance setup in Chloe's house with cameras in the halls and some rooms. Truly creepy shit. What kind of uber paranoid puts uh, cameras throughout his own home? Chloe's stepfather, I guess. I can see where she's got the serious attitude. When I got back upstairs, I couldn't fix the stupid camera, but Chloe saw the butterfly photo and knew I was in the bathroom and set off the alarm. Her attitude totally changed as she realized that I had saved her life. Even though it could have gone the other way, she was so happy like when we were kids. It was great to see her face light up. She gave me her dad's awesome old insomatic as a symbol of our reunion. That's why I felt like it was too, actually. She cranked up the tunes and started dancing in her bed like a maniac. She even got me to shake her booty a bit. That's when Chloe Stefford showed up and it was David Madsen. I feel like she was so happy because it's like, oh my god, this this idea that we're going to protect each other for life, that we're going to be with each other for life, is kind of reinstated. You saved my life. I had to hide in the closet and then David came in angry about the music. He was even scarier off campus because he didn't have the school around him. He used Chloe of taking one of his guns. Yeah, because there's no protection then. Then shit got real and David found Chloe's joint and flipped out on her. She didn't back down and he actually slapped her. Uh, disgusting bastard, I agree. Uh, I thought Chloe would be pissed and I didn't step in, but she didn't think it would matter. We decided to get out there and catch up on our exploring like best friends. So with Chloe, I ended up at the lighthouse watching the sunset. Chloe was mellow and told me more about David and was and his uber paranoia at school and at home. It all made sense. But I wanted to know why Chloe was in that bathroom with Nathan Prescott. She told me he drug deals and she wanted to blackmail him to pay off some big loan. It's so strange where our lives have gone since the last time we hung out and when we were 13. Then I had another nightmare, or duskmare. I was right back at the lighthouse in the storm, except this time I was following a ghostly deer. Until I got to the edge of the cliff and I couldn't see a tornado destroying everything in its path. And again, I could feel the cold sting of the rain. The lighthouse was crumbling and I felt helpless, watching the tornado move towards the ta town. Then Chloe snapped me out of it. A dream I, uh, the dream I told her was what I saw. And if to make the day uh, end on another unusual note, snow started falling from the sky in the warm sunset. It felt so weird, ominous, and beautiful all at once. Especially standing there with my best friend. And on the positive thought, I have officially earned a great night's sleep. I woke up this morning a different person. Uh, even uh, if everybody kn nobody knows yet, after yesterday's intense uh, re revelations with my rewind power and saving Chloe's life, among other cray-cray, as Victoria might say, events of Blackwell, I have to assume everything is different now, and I thought exposing my photos to the world was going to be hard. Um, the interesting thing about this, like, cray-cray is something that, like, I think older Facebook moms say now. After Chloe dropped me off back at my dorm yesterday, I tried to find out more about that freak snowfall that happened and when we were at the lighthouse, but this local meteorologist are stumped so far, I felt so jacked up that I pulled up an all-nighter on the physics research. And the last one of the chapter one, not being worn, uh, I, not being worn, I ended up knowing less about my situation than I, when I started. I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected, but at this point, I have no fucking clue what to believe. I'm just so glad that Chloe and I are on a team again. That is be destiny. Uh, now I get to I have to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord knows I need it. I ran to Kate in the showers and she asked for the October Country back. I love the book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor barged in and totally started ragging her on poor Kate about the video. Just a complete assholes. They wrote a link on the mirror. It's disgusting. It's illegal as well. Um, and it was less illegal back then, actually. 2013? Less illegal back then, even though it was illegal. I sure you don't understand how um, they get off acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by bully Kate? She doesn't have real friends. We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like a battle royale, just without the dystopia and exploding heads. Only Victoria can make me feel dirty in a shower. That's a great line, Max. Um, 
So these are all the lines we, we that's that, that that we got here. Uh, we have new characters, of course. We have Rachel. Um, where is Rachel Amber? Even though Blackwell Academy feels so remote and tranquil, you still get sad reminders of reality. A missing person, uh, literally uh, wallpapered all of the campus. I love this as well. Of course, I wonder who took the photo. Did she run away from home? I'd like I'd like to hope so for her sake. It's so depressing. I feel off of her parents. What a shitty thing to go through. No matter how Blackwell seems secret bubble of uh, no matter how much Blackwell seems like a secret bubble of knowledge, you can't escape the real world. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. What did she say about um, Kate? I've forgotten I've ever seen Kate Mar smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her. Um, abstinence campaign. She had an abstinence campaign? Oh, she was religious, yeah. They have the cross around her neck. Very good little detail there. If they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she involved, she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple of weeks. She looks like she's in a zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often. Maybe I could invite her tea or something. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated movies. So it's interesting to learn more about her at this time. Is this called Out of Time, this next episode that we're playing now? And there's like little images here too. We'll look more at the character details as we're going through this as well. Um, For sure. I wonder if it gets updated every time. Yeah, it will get updated every time. Um, so we have to find some clothes. Well, there's clothes over here. <laughs> Let's get dressed. Yeah, I know I spent a lot of time doing that, guys, but I will keep up on it as they happen hey, more often. Um, and we can go into more detail on each one as we're going forward, too. Um, do we have to clean this up? Oh, shit. Nathan yeah, let's just go. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. Well, I you kind of do. We can't rewind that fast. Keep your mouth shut about everything or I'm for your ass and know where you sleep. Come on in then. Okay, I'll oh, wait for you. Shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? I'll wait for you. It never ends. Oh, sh I'm sleeping. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. No, it's... I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. Um, well, the funny I'm thing is... Already. ...is well about this is that like... You know, I'm coming to this from the perspective of me and I'm not a tough guy or anything like that, but like if someone sent me a text like that, I'm like, okay, you know... <laughs> come on um but like for someone like max who is like again knows this kid is crazy and has a gun it's, it's gonna be terrifying you know kate you in there yes i'm here come in max everything's so matter of fact almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. That's horrible. Isn't it such a sad thing? And like, there's a lot of religious st stuff around here. There's a Bible. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Come to me, all you weary who are weary and, and burdened. I will give you rest. When justice is alone. Sorry, when justice is what? When just is done, it brings joy to the righteous and terror to the evildoers. It's kind of worrying me because maybe she's saying there's no justice. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Oh, I kind of feel so bad for Kate though. Like, it's not like who cares if she's freaking. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. I'm gonna kill Victoria. <laughs> this is upsetting me so badly. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything it's looks nice, so isn't fun it? and colorful and positive. Yeah, it actually is very nice. It is very nice. Oh, you have a, you have a rabbit? That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mom. We're not going to take a picture of it because I feel like a flash could actually... I think flashes are not good for um, animals. That's a lot of tears. Mm. She's going to go through boxes. This poor girl. Kate really has a doting father. Oh, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Katie will always be my brightest light against the dark. Oh. That's so sweet. 
Oh, that's so sweet. I literally recorded a Genshin episode earlier where I was, <laughs> where tears are flowing and here we are again. She's definitely going through, obviously going through such a hard time, man. Ouch. She left out amnation. No spirit, dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you've done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your Harriet image before the God's eyes. I will play. Fucking nasty, man. So nasty. Good Lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Something needs to be freaking done and quick. And she's not cleaning up either. Which is a clear sign of depression as well. Things are a little bit messy in the room too. Yeah, she's not cleaning up whatsoever. You, she, we should totally invite her to come for a burger with me and Chloe. I think it'd be lovely. I think it'd be so nice. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me because yesterday? I hate bullies. I hate, I hate bullies. bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about. Oh, him. girl! Kate, oh, the her eyes are so red. Care. So. What's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of a vortex club. Oh, the tears, your te Our face race. is stained. Why? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for yeah, me. Yeah, but I didn't want to bring it up unless you wanted to bring sucks, it up. Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one vortex club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That doesn't sound like you. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the did someone did, did Nathan Prescott did get involved in this? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. That's and the thing. She like. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video. <sighs> okay. Did somebody drug you? I remember. Yeah, that Nathan Prescott guy. I remember guy. getting sick. He did it before to Chloe. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he Yeah, but girl, that's, he, he wasn't taking He's you to the, the hospital. Opposite of nice. What next? My heart All is I broken for is this girl. For a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. No. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. No, you and 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 that's all i remember i don't know what that happened he's such a sicko I, I hope he i hope i hope he goes to freaking bruises. hell 10 times over oh, gross. so who took the video of you at the party i have no idea probably victoria she was there being her mean self jesus kate i'm sorry <sighs> This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? Oh my... I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, we will. We will. I'll check back later, okay? See you again, guys. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. My... Back in 2013, this stuff was actually extremely common. Um, we're not going to open the blinds. No. This stuff was extremely common. Jesus, this is intense. Um, if it's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Yeah, you're starting to notice changes in her. This is why something's, her room is, is dirty. Um, she's crying a lot. Um, she's not cleaning things up that much. The tissues here as well. The postcard stuff from her mother. All this stuff. 
Gigantic hen. It's a really cool name for a thing. She's covering the mirror. Why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? Oh my god, Kate. We need to do something about this quick. It's when you start noticing very sharp changes in someone, you need to, ch you need to, you know, somehow inter- I know it's difficult as well because, like, a lot of people don't want to- ch Oh, we have to put the book over here. So, Max, can I ask you a Do you want to come to for a burger with us? Absolutely. Please. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. I'll find out. Should I go to the police? Oh my god. We need to find proof. And, like, guys, like, for me, it's like, yes, you should go to the police, but, like, I don't know what they're gonna do with this Nathan Prescott kid. And what happened last time to me, I feel like that would push her over the edge if Nathan Prescott made her give revenge on, on, on her. If he started doing that stuff to her. You know what I mean? Like, what he did to me for just, like, reporting a gun, imagine, like, going to the police. This is such a difficult choice because, like, like of course, like, it's a different time, like, di a different time as well. In 2013, they do nothing for you. Like, they, do, they, they don't do much now, but they do nothing for you, like, back in 2013. And, like, a viral video was hard to get scrubbed off the internet. That would be on the internet forever. Stuff gets, there's a lot more laws now that get, um, that, like, have changed things. Like, if I'm, I'm putting myself in the time space as well. And like, okay, okay, if we weigh this up, if we go to, the, if she, we tell her to go to the police and she goes to the police. She is on the edge of anything. If they, if she goes to the police, they don't believe her, which is going to happen. They'll side with Nathan Prescott. The school will side with Nathan, with Nathan. He has, you know, we have no proof. It could literally send her over the edge. If we say we'll look for proof, it's not very good either because it's like, it's really difficult to find proof of that stuff. Like, there's... I'm, I'm worried about going to the police just because I think it will send her over the edge. Like, if, if, he, if he finds out, because I think they will find out. Because they, they gave my name in the, in the school. You know what I mean? But see, the thing is as well, I feel like look for proof is another thing where it's like, if nothing is done about this, then she's going to be wallowing as well. And I feel like that could also like be a worse thing as well, because then it's like, we're, it's like I'm saying to her, like, we need to like sweep it under the rug, which she doesn't need now either. I think she needs, I also think that maybe we should reaffirm her that something wrong did happen and you should go to the police. I'm just worried about that. I think both ways are going to send her over the edge, no matter what. The negatives of each side of it. Look for the police could have Nathan Prescott come back and take revenge in some way. Look for proof is us saying to her that like we need actual proof and it could feel like she were sweeping under the rug for the poor girl. Which I don't want to do either, which I feel like it also even like send her further down even faster. I'm gonna encourage her to go to the police. Just because I want to keep up the the energy of you did nothing wrong. We will he deserves to go. Cause I think look for proof. It's like what proof are we gonna find? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe There you go. There, you we did, it's about belief. Nathan Prescott is truly it's about dangerous. belief. We believe her. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. Oh, maybe not Principal and Wells. Also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? 
Well, I mean, girl, I'll do I it. I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the press oh, are this, Yeah, they are. They family. are very proud, powerful. I hope this won't backfire on us. That's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma, he'll get it. Kate, I believe you though. And you, do you want to uh, ask her to come? For, I know we can't because we're talking about back the, the the fast the travels time travel stuff. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Wait, they'll drag. But she's talking about the consequences for herself. I don't care. Like honestly, I want her to. I, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna keep what we did. I'm gonna keep what we did because if the consequences that we're thinking about is on herself, that's fine. She's in a downward spiral here, and she needs to be looked after as quick as possible. Um, food, two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Um, did we get another? Oh, we ha I thought we get another one there. Oh no, it's it's day by day. Okay. Um, and nothing updated with Kate. Just when I thought Victoria Chase would be the worst of my soldier problems, I have to deal with Nathan Prescott, but I guess he was the one who triggered my crazy rewind power by shooting that girl in the bathroom. He's 19 and already scary fucking prick. I guess that little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate time, but if he shoots me, I may not be able to reverse anything. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got friends in high places, as his family's last name is practically branded on every building at Blackwell. His money against mine. On one hand, I do kind of feel bad for Nathan because he doesn't seem to be in control, like he's doped up over and over medicated. On the other hand, he's an asshole who nobody is, has called out. And he almost did kill. He did kill someone. Like, it's psychopath rules, but he did kill someone. You know what I mean? He did kill someone. Wait, is that writing a new entry? No, it's not. Okay, I, t I, I keep... I, I don't know when we're supposed to check this. You know what I mean? Let's do what we'll sweep around to make sure we're not missing anything. And then we'll go to Chloe. Possibly in the next one, in fairness. Like, we are very, like... Um... Deep into this. This is both sad... Oh my god, why do we... Okay, we're here anyway. Oh, we read this already. Right? If you need money. Oh, this boy is like... Uh... I love the art side with it, like the swim team stuff. Not even talking to each other, which is fine, you know? Sometimes it's hard to come up with stuff to say. Should we talk to Victoria? Let's see if we can talk to Victoria. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Be the change that you wish to see. Jesus, you want to see a horrible change then. Okay, I think we've kind of, like, uh, seen as much as we can see in this place. Or at least there's probably going to be stuff we're going to be missing always, like, you know? Maybe we should water our plant at some point. Uh, but guys, I feel like it's a good place to end the video because it's probably going to save the game now uh, going forward to this. I think we're going to be... I think when we exit, we're going to go straight to the diner. Oh, trash can. Samuel truly is a weirdo. But he is great at cleaning up. Which is a skill. It's actually pretty tough. It's pretty tough. It can be very painful. Is that Warren? I said Boyd. The birds are flocking around Samuel. <laughs> they seem to like him. How are you doing, Samuel? Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm Same. and quiet. Same. Same. I can feel the animals waking up with me. Animals 
Snow. Snow? What do you think of the snow? So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. We actually did, didn't we? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Cool. That's such a nice, like, it's cool to seem like relaxing. And it actually is not a bad job to have in terms, because it's very secure as long as you're doing a good job, right? Because there's always going to be this building here. Like, schools don't tend to shut down very often. At least not where I'm from. Um, and it's actually a beautiful place as well. I guess we're going to be talking to Warren in the next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I know this was, like, a very, like... I feel like I, a lot of people probably spend way less time than I did getting out of here. Um, but I wanted to make sure I saw everything and I'm getting a good read on everything. But thank you to the baby gangsters. Uh, they can never play the baby gangsters here in Ty Fire 2, Jamie Bull, Janet Banana, Normal Cara, Rachel S, The Ghost of Inazuma, Felicious Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, Poke Girl, Tedder, Fruity, Orange Bang, Summer Oasis, Death Trap, and Anusta. I'll see you guys very soon.